Elon Musk stopped the purchase of Twitter, and in this video, we will see the reasons as to why he did so. The tweet with the second most likes in the history of Twitter is the following. Next I'm buying Coca-Cola to put the cocaine back in. This is a tweet from Elon Musk, and it seems to me that we are seeing a society in which entrepreneurs are now trolls on the internet. This is the tweet where he argues that Twitter told him some information, and he is not believing it at all. But why? What information was he told? Well, let's dig in a bit. See, the big reason as to why Elon Musk stopped the purchase of Twitter is due to Twitter saying that inside their database and according to them, there are 229 million active users a day, and they say that only 5% are bot accounts. These accounts usually make spam comments, and according to Elon Musk, these accounts are responsible for mass manipulation of information. These bots are also often responsible for scams associated with cryptocurrency issues. These accounts spam stuff that most people don't even understand about crypto, and what they are doing is taking people's money through their web pages, and weird things like that. This is a big reason as to why Elon decided to buy Twitter. He wanted to improve on it by having more freedom of expression. His wish was that the algorithm stayed on GitHub and was totally open to people. This way everyone could review it, wiping out bots, among other things. And somehow he opted to buy the whole company for an offer of $44 billion. But the big question is, why did Elon slow down the purchase? Well, Twitter stated that only 5% of the accounts are bots, but Elon Musk totally refuses to believe that statement. In fact, with the power Elon has, he spoke to a few external analysts which prove that at least 20% of their active users are bots. But Elon's fear is not the fact that it could be that 20%. He is afraid it could be much more than that. 50%? 80%? 90%? Another problem is that Elon Musk is also buying the company with the vision of changing certain things. According to what he said on his monetization plans and their product improvement, it is extremely important to know the exact figure of it. And if the figure is bigger than what Twitter claims, then the initial offer needs to be backed off and come to a different one. The problem with Twitter is that they are closing to this idea, which in turn means that Elon Musk not only took one step back, but has taken two steps back making reference to the tweet he made on Coca Cola and wanting to put cocaine back, which Obviously, it's a joke. I really suggest you take a look at Elon's Twitter. It's crazy to see what he tweets sometimes. But back to what I was saying, this tweet got 4.8 million likes, and it's the second most liked tweet. This didn't make any sense to Elon Musk. If Twitter has 229 million daily active accounts, how come the second most liked tweet only has 4.8 million? And he gives examples such as YouTube, where there may be a billion users and the most liked videos far exceed this figure. Therefore, Elon Musk is double thinking the deal. Another thing to mention is that there's been videos of Twitter executives who have been recording without them realizing it. Talking about Elon Musk saying that the whole company doesn't like what's happening and that they are afraid of the change in the culture. And that Twitter was more of a relaxed place and that they are afraid that an entrepreneur will come in and change this by doing the right thing, which is making the company productive. I think it's going to be a more complicated purchase than it seems, because a company is also a culture, and if Elon Musk comes in and fires half of the people and radically changes everything in pursuit of his vision of the company, which we also have to say that Elon Musk is all about the product and engineering. In other words, he believes that managers should be technicians and specialists. Basically, he is saying we are going to change things. For that reason, and because Twitter is going to try and reject these new policies, I think we will see if the purchase is finalized or not. If you want to follow up on this, you could literally just hop on Twitter and follow Elon Musk. In fact, you can see almost everything live. Elon Musk keeps tweeting. For example, he has made tweets like, hey, if Twitter is so sure of what they are saying, then they should open up. And many make comments saying, hey, it's funny because you are trying to buy Twitter while Twitter is trying to defend themselves, so you won't buy it due to the culture they have, and also you are tweeting the whole process on Twitter and it's all very transparent. It's funny to me because we are living in times where things are changing. Technology has made everything very transparent and the information runs through in the blink of an eye. 
Even Elon Musk responded to the people who were talking about the whole culture inside Twitter saying, hey, are these videos real? The responses from different accounts were, no, these videos are fake, while others say they might be real. But we can all agree on one thing, and it's that Elon Musk is doing his due diligence. What do you guys think about this whole situation? I'd love to read your comments on this. Without anything more to add, please subscribe and hit the like button. See you on the next video.